welcome back to my channel. This is a cash stuffing for October. I have £645 to cash stuff for this month. It feels like a really big amount compared to what I've been stuffing recently. So stay tuned. If you are clicking on another video, thank you so much for being with me and I hope that you are subscribed. If this channel is new to you, I'm Yasmin, I'm a single mum from London and this channel is all about my finance journey and also some of the other things that I'm changing about my lifestyle as a result of being on this finance journey. So yeah, I'd love you to stick around and hit the subscribe button. Let's get into the cash stuffing. Okay, so here is the money. And I'm gonna just count it quickly to make sure I know what I've got. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. Okay, so 520s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, one, 10, 20, 30, 40, five, 500, 645. So I'm gonna just pop it in here for ease. How is everybody? How is cash stuffing going for those who cash stuff? Has anyone bought my spreadsheet? And if you have, how are you getting on? I obviously did another budgeting video. I'll always share my spreadsheet in the budgeting videos. I've also just filmed, which you probably will have seen either before or after this video. I've just filmed a video using my intentional money planner, which were almost sold out. But I just did the Wheel of Life and used that to sort of reflect on September and set some goals for October. So yeah, that was cool. Okay, so let's get started with this cash stuffing. So first up is my everyday binder. I'm just double checking that I've taken everything out of here, which I believe I have. Okay, cool. So that's fine. I'm going to put that to one side for now. Don't need my... This is when... So sometimes I split my cash between the weeks in the month, but at the moment I'm not doing that. I'm just cash stuffing monthly. So I don't need that today either. This is my main expenses folder. So I've got some change left in here, which I'm going to remove. Ah! I'll just put that to one put that to one side for now i'll just double check what i've got left in here so i've got nothing in petrol nothing in personal nothing in spending or travel or household or cleaner 10 in miscellaneous and nothing in challenges okay so this month i've already done a bit of a food shop so i'm putting 140 in here of what was 200 so 20 40 60 80 1 20, 40, 60, 82. I didn't mean to do that, did I? So I only want 140 of the 200. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, because I have already spent 60 on the food shopping. Also had a Gusto box delivered. If anybody would like some money off their first Gusto box, I will leave a link below. They are really, really good. Very similar to HelloFresh, which I know I've shown on this channel before. You get exactly what you need to make the meals, but with the 65, 70% off, I'm saying 65, 70 because it does change. Um, obviously the first box is an absolute bargain. So if anyone hasn't tried them before, my link is below. So there's 140 pounds gone into groceries. Petrol is getting its usual 40, which, is empty at the moment so there's that personal is getting 80 so 20 40 60 80 pounds actually I'm going to take 20 of that in tens because some of that is for my nails and some of that is for coffee money so 20 40 60 will do my nails and then two tens for like coffees and stuff when I go out with my friends so I'm going to take I say go out for my friends is to walk the dog really that's the only time I see my friends I'm going to put 10 pounds just there to one side put 70 of the 80 pounds in the personal folder and then I'm just going to bring back this one and put that 10 in coffee because this is the one that I take out with me if I'm going out in my handbag so that's that 
spending we're skipping for now because I've just sort of covered it in my personal money. Travel is going to get 20. And that is just for when we do any extra travel. And I think I will need to be taking my daughter to the hospital this month. Household is also getting 20. Which I don't think I need to use. So hopefully I'll be able to let that build up. But I've got a big delivery of toilet rolls last month. Um, which I think I mentioned in my budget. There's also a code below for that. Which gives you £5 off your first order. So 20 into household. My cleaner, I'm going to put 60 in here for this week's clean. And the rest of it I've just held back in my bank account for now. Miscellaneous already has the 10, so I'm not going to put any extra in there. That is my weekly general expenses done. Now moving on to sinking funds. I have put some of these in electronically, so I'll tell you what I've done in my Starling account as we go. So occasions is getting 20, or maybe I'll do two tens because sometimes that's for, that's better. So occasions is getting two tens and already has in it 10, 20, 30, there's now 40 pounds. And that is for the kids. Really the main thing I use this for is when the kids go to birthday parties. School is getting 20 pounds. That's for like school trips and things like that. And actually I do need to take 10 pounds. My son is on a school trip next week, so I need to take 10 pounds for his spending money and leave it in the office. But that needs to be in change, so I might need to get change. Home is not getting anything today, but then it has 10 in it. Health has 10 here, but I've also transferred 100 pounds in my digital sinking fund. So that has 110 in total. That's for dentist appointments. I do think I'm going to have to start ramping this up as and when I can afford it because my son potentially needs a little bit of intervention from the orthodontist. It's going to cost me a bomb. But there we go. There is no such thing as NHS dental care where I live. Clothing is getting 50. Woohoo! Don't usually put much in here, but it's getting 50 because I sold 50 pounds worth of stuff on Vinted and I always put that straight into here so 20, 40, 50, 60 pounds now in clothing which is exciting because that's the sort of thing that always catches me out so it's nice to have a bit there. Then days out is not getting anything at the moment, education is not getting anything at the moment, kids activities is getting 100 so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I've got a school trip coming up to pay for for my daughter. And she's actually reducing the number of clubs that she's doing because she doesn't really want to do one of them. <laughs> so that could be going to the trip now rather than the activities. But I definitely need to keep putting money in here because these kids are costing me a bomb. Giving is not getting anything at the moment. That is that for that binder. And then my longer term sinking funds binder. Emergency fund I'm doing separately as a challenge. Water I have put in digitally. And I did record it here. So that is done digitally. Callum I also put digitally. So I can change this now because he, Callum actually has £250 in his birthday fund so I'm going to remove the 100 and add the 250 placeholder and then I'll quickly update these as well so these are tens so quite a few to colour for Callum because we've moved on quite a bit which is good because his birthday is in December so this has been really helpful for me because having a child whose birthday is in December, obviously along with Christmas, is a massive pain. <laughs> so um, it's good, like cash stuffing and even just generally preparing for things like birthdays in advance, it's just been such a game changer for me. Amber's got 20 in the bank for now and that's fine. Car maintenance is fully funded. I need to get my car insurance 
ASAP. I think it's due now. Um, garden's getting nothing at the moment. Christmas has got its 250, but we're not doing anything to add to that at the moment. And that is that. I'm just having a look at what else I was going to put money towards because... Oh, did I have an eating out? I was actually, you would have seen in my budget, I was trying to put some money towards eating out for this, um, I'm going to put it in days out for this month because because it's coming into winter, I think we're going to end up having lunches and stuff when we're out. Um, so for eating out, I'm putting 40 in. So I'll do that there. I mean, it's one of those ones where we don't have to spend it, but I just think because the cold weather's setting in, sometimes we might get bored and the kids might just want to go and get something to eat or we can go to a park and have lunch in the cafe or something like that, just to warm up. And then I've got 20, 30, 40, 55 left. So what have I missed? Just looking on my spreadsheet. <laughs> done that. I did petrol. Okay, I did food, eating out, transport, petrol. I know what I've missed, so I think it's in this envelope. I need to align my envelopes to my spreadsheet. So spending, I'm going to put 40 into spending. This is for the kids. So this is just kind of like spending money for at the weekend. So... I'm going to pop that in there and then like with my spending i've got a kids little kids envelope in here so when we go out i'll transfer some money from here into here ready for the day i do have 15 left and that is correct because when i had all my cash taken out obviously i've had bits and pieces where i've spent stuff so i have got a spare 15 which i'm going to put in miscellaneous because it has ended up without a home um, and that's just because the difference the time between me taking this cash out and actually cash stuffing has been quite a while so I've ended up with 15 pounds too much based on what I needed to stuff but yeah I'll put it in miscellaneous for now it can stay there and I'm sure it will be needed at some point that is all of my envelopes let me know in the comments how you're getting on with your cash stuffing are you ready for Christmas? That's definitely something that's on my mind at the moment. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.